Hello, welcome to another video. Um, today I want to look at uh, another of the lesser known um, uh, 35mm SLR film cameras, um, the uh, Casina um, CSR. Um, now the Casina cameras are generally uh, less well known um, and mainly because they didn't actually um, market their own um, cameras or their own brand um, especially strongly. Um, and now one of the reasons for that may be that they actually made cameras for other people. They made a lot of cameras for other people. Um, so they made uh, cameras for the likes of uh, Yashica, Contax, uh, Olympus, Canon and Nikon. Um, and one of their models, the CT1, um, was actually uh, the sort of the basis for uh, many other, uh, uh, other, other manufacturers' cameras. So, um, but they were um, very highly specified, very uh, skilled professionals, uh, high class engineering went into these cameras. Um, so they're particularly well made. Um, this particular one uh, is my, one of my favourites um, because uh, it has the capability for spot metering. So it has a switch on the top which allows uh, average metering or spot metering in the middle. Um, so uh, that allows uh, the capability to get into zone metering, Ansel Adams zone metering system. Um, and I'll put some links on that uh, for you to look at if you don't know what that is. Um, in this camera, uh, you can see that um, in the viewfinder there, there are three gray areas. Uh, the one on either side is the uh, averaging system, so you have two sensors um, and the uh, uh, electronics will average out the two uh, readings and give you uh, an average reading. Um, the third one in the middle there is the spot meter, which allows you uh, simply to, to meter a small specific area in the viewfinder. Um, and unusually for this camera, and I say an indication of the high level of engineering uh, optics going into this, these sensors are actually embedded into the uh, into the mirror there, um, rather than on most cameras being stuck behind the the prism. Um, so one of the uh, features about this particular camera that uh, um, some people found took objection to is the clack, what's known as the clack, um, and that is um, a system where by uh, when you press the shutter down halfway. Um, the iris shuts down and the meter switches on at the same time and it's not until you press the meter, the, uh, the button down fully fully uh, it actually takes the shot um, so this can be uh, this is one of those things that some people makes them nervous because they, they're not sure whether they've taken the shot or not um, but it's one of those things that if you get once you get used to it it's fine um, it's it's very straightforward uh, and very similar to the um, system which made the uh, one of the things that I think that the, made the Spotmatic, the famous Spotmatic so popular is that the, the button on the side here did exactly the same thing. So when you pushed it up, it shuts down the, uh, sh the iris and switches the meter on at the same time, um, allowing you to get a good, good idea of your, your metering. Um, and then you can push the switch again um, uh, to compose. One of the things about the clack that I understand is that uh, it's quite useful for portrait photography, apparently, uh, in that um, when you're pointing at your camera at your subject uh, and you half press it, uh, uh, they, they believe that, that you've taken the picture, so they relax and then you take the picture. Um, so that's a, a useful feature for that. So that's it. Um, the uh, Casina. CSR is an extremely well made camera um, and is available uh, fairly cheaply because it's one of the lesser known ones. Um, but uh, and if you want to get into zone metering, then uh, the spot meter system is uh, makes this the camera for you. So um, yeah, look out for it. A couple of things I forgot to mention about the um, Casino CSR. Um, the uh, when you when you've got the shutter. Uh, shut down, sorry, the um, iris shut down, you can reverse it with this button here. So you can switch between exposure and composition quite easily before you take the shot. 
Um, the other thing is its uh, shutter speed control button is very light, so it's quite easy to adjust that with one finger whilst you're uh, setting your exposure. Um, and also the um, lens mount is a good old M42, uh, so you can use all of your old, lovely old um, M42 glass. Um, so, um, and finally, here is a, a little insert for the uh, uh, exposure meter, which again is, is very useful. It's uh, um, sitting at the top of the uh, viewfinder where you can see it without actually looking at it, uh, which I find quite handy. Anyway, thanks again. Bye for now.